wonderful privilege for me to take this moment today to just um, introduce you to something that we are going to be doing in our region as a vineyard in the next few weeks. Um, while I'm speaking to you this morning, you'll be introduced to the other leaders in the region. The Lord reminded me of an image of a quiver and an archer. This image of an archer drawing back the arrow and, 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 and getting to the position where it is at what we call full draw and is held. That holding position it, it is a position that is when we are completely drawn back and held back till the release point where, the, where the, the tension of pulling back together with the holding of all things in tension before the release and the, 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 the archer releases when they have calculated the wind speed, when they have calculated the tension, when they have held all things together. The archer's paradox is knowing when to let go so that the arrow can be released towards its target. And the reality is, if you draw back the, the arrow and you release it too quick, you will be short of the target. If you draw back and you hold back too long, you will find that you will overshoot the target. So the balance, the tension between not letting go too soon or not holding back too far is one that an archer learns with much practice. And we are living in a time right now where we, we God has drawn us back, where God has pulled us back, and we are held in tension with the reality of when to let go. And the truth of the matter is we are not the archer, the Lord is. And so when He holds us back, His purpose is to release us as one of the arrows drawn from His quiver. And as we are released into our purpose, He always perfectly releases us. So we mustn't fight the tension that God created in us when He holds us back. And when we feel, when we start to get, get that feeling that we are being held back too long, let us not fight the Lord. Let us continue to let the Lord hold us so that when He release us, we don't miss the mark. God is not just wanting us to achieve our purpose, but He want to, wants us to do it to the best of our ability. And often it is counterintuitive for us because we, 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 we resist God when He holds us back. And sometimes we want to run ahead of Him. Um, another image that God gave me this week um, was of a skier going up a mountain slope, getting ready to go down the slope on the skis. And, and what a skier does is they've, they've got to climb to the top of the slope and put in all the effort all the effort of getting to the top and I think in the season that we are living in right now we are determined to put in an effort to get to the top of a peak so that when we get there we can actually ride down the slope on the other side and I just want to encourage you today because sometimes it feels like we have let ourselves go too long or we've pulled ourselves back too long and we feel like God is holding us back and I want to say to you it's important that as a skier when you go down that slope that you don't go off beast because if you go off piece, you will find yourself in snow that has not been used and you are at greater risk of, of causing an avalanche and getting wiped out by the thing that was actually there for you to enjoy. And God says there's a road map that, that's been marked out for us. Stick to the plan. Stay with it. Even though you're feeling the tension of being held back. Even though you're feeling the tension of the hiddenness of God. My encouragement to you to this. Don't lose faith. God is with us. And when He releases us, will be the right time. Do not fear. We don't operate out of a spirit of fear. So as Paul said to Timothy, let us not then give in to the spirit of fear because fear paralyzes us so that our inaction is caused by fear. Our inaction as a nation is not caused by fear. It's not an inaction that paralyzes us. No, our decision to hold back and wait on God and to release at the right moment is so that God can take what we are doing for His honor and His glory. Now while I've been speaking to you, you've had the privilege of seeing some of the leaders that will be speaking to you in the next few weeks. I hope that this is the first of many such engagements where you will get encouraged by the Word and by the words in the Spirit by God's leaders in the region. And I pray that you will also hold them together in prayer so that as we go through this journey together, we get out on the other side stronger for it, knowing that our God is for us. God bless you and I look forward to being in fellowship with you again soon.